In this video, I will be sharing how we increase leads by 46% and reduce CAC by 11% for Fitness First in Singapore and won an award for this campaign. We won bronze for the most effective use of customer insight and market research category in the 2023 Marquis Award by Marketing Interactive. I will be sharing a summary of our digital campaign which includes what we did and what platforms that we used. And at the end of this video, I will be sharing my insights and the most important lessons that we learned from this campaign. So stick around till the end of this video to catch those gold nuggets. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Nadia and I'm the Regional Growth Marketing Lead for Evolution Wellness, which is the parent company for fitness brands such as Fitness First, Celebrity Fitness, in five countries across Asia, which are Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand. And before I joined Evolution Wellness, I was a product marketing manager with Mind Valley, where I led million dollar product launches for products also within the health and fitness space. So without further ado, let's get into the campaign. Let me share some context. Fitness First is one of the world's most established fitness center brands at the time of this recording, we are operating in 17 countries with approximately 360 clubs. Ever since 2020, we were badly affected by club closures which lasted for almost two years because of COVID. In 2022, as COVID measures were lifted, we decided to focus on a digital strategy to attract churned and new members back into our gyms. So, here's what we did. Here are the top 5 lessons that I have learned from this campaign. Even before the first ad, the first copy, or the first landing page was created, we sent a survey to all our new members to get into their heads. We wanted to learn why they chose Fitness First over all the other competitors and what was important to them. We used the feedback that we got from those surveys to refine the messaging in our advertising campaigns. For example, if we saw certain keywords that kept on appearing over and over again in the customer responses, we would take it and use it as part of our body copy in our ads. Sometimes we would take a whole phrase and use it as script in our video ads or as copy in the landing pages so that we know for sure that we are talking in the voice of customer and in a way that will relate to our customers best. Rapid and constant creative testing was the biggest lever that improved performance in this campaign. We did so many testing on this campaign. Audiences, landing pages, campaign objectives, but we found that doing rapid and constant ad creative testing was the biggest thing that made the difference in terms of improving our campaign performances. 
So at the beginning of every month, our digital specialists would create five to seven new ads to test. We would drop them into our campaigns, let it run for at least one week, and then after that, go in to look at the results. For the ads that are not performing, we would switch it off. So that means for the rest of the month, we will be running with the best performing ads, giving us the most number of results for the lowest cost. And at the beginning of every month, we would repeat this process all over again. An easy hack that gave us a quick win in our Facebook campaigns was to optimize the first sentence in the body copy and also the video thumbnail. And what I mean by thumbnail is the first image that people see before they click the play button to watch your video. When someone is scrolling on Facebook, especially on mobile, the first thing they see when presented with an ad is the first few characters of the body copy. This has to be the best, the most interesting, the most juiciest line because you want them to stop and pay attention to you. So some of the things that you can test to improve the first line in your body copy is to add emojis, call out your avatar, or put your best offer. And in terms of the thumbnails, I've seen some really, really bad ones where companies just use the thumbnail that was auto-generated by Facebook and there's no context, it's just terrible. If I saw that image, I'm not gonna watch your video. No one's gonna watch it. So the next time when you're uploading a video ad on Facebook, make sure that you create a customized thumbnail. And the advice that I can give to you here is to make it look nice or intriguing to increase the likelihood of someone hitting that play button and to watch your video ad. Number four, despite what I keep hearing from Facebook and other industry experts, a broad audience sometimes isn't necessarily the best audience. What we're finding is that it really depends on the messaging. What we find is that when we're targeting a broad audience, the ad that works best are video ads that give a lot of context. For example, what is the value proposition of our business? How can it benefit the person? And what offers that we have? We have tested specific interest-based audience like busy moms, for example. And we find that when we tailor the messaging, the ad creative and the video to that specific avatar, it often outperforms our broad audience. So yeah, what worked for others may not work for you, so make sure that you test everything. And broadly, we've observed how messaging can influence the quality of our leads. Last year, during the 11.11 online sale, we had a campaign that was running a huge promotion. It was zero registration fees, two months free, and a few other things as well. We brought in a record number of leads for a low, low, low cost. But the conversion rate from those leads to join us were the lowest that we've ever seen. And on the flip side, when we remove promotions from all our ads, we are seeing an increase in cost per leads. But we also saw an an improvement in the conversion rate from leads to customers, leading to an overall lowered customer acquisition cost. So what this has shown us is that if your ads are all about being the cheapest in the industry, you will most likely attract leads who are looking out for the best deal and may be harder to convert from a lead to a customer. And once we've removed all the offers from our ads, we saw that we have attracted higher quality leads that are generally interested in our value proposition, features and benefits, and are less price sensitive. And that's it folks! I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I make videos about growth and marketing, and if you want to keep on receiving videos like this, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching! Love you! Bye!